Hey, what's up guys? Johnny here, back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. In today's video, we talk about how to get fast XP for the Season Pass, guys. It's brand new on Season 6. No more seasonal challenges or daily tasks for the Season Pass. But we got some new stuff, guys. We're going to talk about it today. And now we got to gain XP to advance in your Season Pass. Just saying, guys, fast and easy tiers. I got 12 tiers on my first day, well, 13, but... I just played about three hours on stream and that's it. I'm going to give you guys some tips to get big chunks of XP fast at the start of the season. And hopefully it's going to keep going for season seven because I love this new system, guys. So let's get started. And before we start, smash that like on that video if you enjoyed these tips. And also subscribe to the channel right now for daily COD Mobile videos. Now let's go with the tips. And you guys want to check out the event tab. This is brand new, seasonal events, and there's a lot of comments and questions I've seen. Some guys don't understand how it works, or some guys say some tasks are broken, and I'm going to give you guys some tips to do them fast. So just saying, but I finished the boot camp, you see the check marks, uh, survey and destroy, close quarter combat, or close quarter master, and elite marksman. I didn't do the battle royale. I only played one game on the day of release. And I'll do that on stream later, but it gives you an idea about three hours. And at the same time, I was working on the rust challenges. And also I was working on the capture the flag challenges. So you guys can do even faster if you just focus on these tasks. So here's how it works, guys. And these challenges, they give you big chunks of XP. You see here 8,000 XP and you're going to get 6,000 here and another 6,000. You, you get a lot of XP and that's going straight to the battle pass and that's how you rank up super fast. So the way it works guys is you can only do one task at a time in a row, but you can do or you can work on multiple tasks from different uh, chains if you want. I call them chain quests from other games, but it is, it is a chain. So you have to finish one to get access to the other. And I'm gonna give you an example here. So let's say uh, the close quarter one, it wanted you to get 30 enemies with the SMG or kill 30 enemies with SMG. And then the next one is kill 20 enemies with the PDW with holo sight. But you cannot go and go straight with the PDW and holo. It's gonna give you SMG kills, but it's not gonna give you kills for the second task with the PDW. So you have to finish that one first and then you come back, you claim the reward, and then it unlocks the second one. So you have to do them in order, guys, and only one at a time. But still, keep an eye on the other ones because you can complete them at the same time. It's going to save you some time. So for example, this one here in Elite Marksman want you to get BK57 kills. And on the Survey and Destroy or Boot Camp, you had to get some uh, AR kills. So these you can do at the same time because BK57 is an AR. And at the same time, you get some super cool rewards, guys. Uh, we got a super nice Pharaoh, Pharaoh Bandit, and um, also some soldier skins. And that one I will get tomorrow probably on Battle Royale. The Nomad Wild Snake is freaking amazing, guys. All right, now some tips because some guys say these challenges are broken. Uh, make sure you read carefully, guys. Uh, exactly what they want you to do. So this one, for example, it says kill 20 enemies with PDW equipped with quick draw and any two other attachments. And they say optics count. So if you do uh, the like red dot site or something plus three attachments, well, guys, that will count for four attachments. And some missions, they're very specific. You cannot have more attachments than that what they ask you to do. So if you have the optics on top of the two attachments, it might not count and you'll waste some time, guys, and you will have to go and remove something and then do it again. So that's very frustrating. Make sure you take your time to understand what's going on and what you have to do exactly. Now, super cool thing, guys, it's where you get your first free Pharaoh if you didn't get the legendary one in the Lucky Draw. Well, we get our first Pharaoh this season and later you get also a rare skin for the Pharaoh, so that's amazing. Then if you miss your Locust previously on the last seasons, well, now you get another Locust here for free and it's very, very nice. 
On top of that, we get the unskinned common locust here uh, on the challenges. So once again, guys, make sure you check out the seasonal challenges. It's the best way to get big chunks of XP at the start of the season and rank up your battle pass faster and get access to super cool stuff. Uh, if you're free to play, guys, you get the outlaw at tier 12. So you can get that on the first day in about three hours of gameplay if you focus on the mission. So that's it for today's video. That was a short one. Hope you guys enjoyed the tips. Hit the like if you did. And then once again, subscribe to the channel for daily comable videos. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.